Hello YouTube, this is Hen Basket, and this is going to be one of my longest videos to date. So, as you can see here, I have a Simplex 4207. I got this from my uncle for Christmas. And look inside, many cut wires and stuff. So, gonna need to go through these. Probably gonna stop by, get them copied, so I don't need to worry about ripping the originals. And also so I can, so I can redact some sensitive information before Hopefully having some people help me with them. So I guess gonna, after I get these copied and stuff, I'm gonna come back probably with a time lapse or something. I don't know. I am recording this far in advance from when I'm actually gonna start the work. All right, so you know, I just okay, YouTube. So I just decide, just to say, you know, screw it and plug it in. Ready? All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, we got trouble. Okay, let's see. Does lamp test work? Lamp test works. That's awesome. You know what, just let me pull this, and... Dang, that thing looks clean on the front. Oh yeah, it was really clean. It was, it was kind of bad. And, you know, below, hold on. <laughs> All right, and look. That works. Here goes nothing. Uh -huh. Yep, code is going. Nice. Gonna need to figure that out soon, but. Alright, I'm gonna set you down. And now, I'm going to reset the sentry. It's hard to do this with one hand, but. Uh, yeah, there's pulls that you have to unscrew something on. It's, it's always a pain. Yeah, and now, I think I can. Reset the panel. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Actually, so the um, huh? Zone two isn't in trouble, surprisingly. Despite the card and resistor being gone. Well. Okay, moving on. So the panel only came with enough resistors for one of the zones and also the signal circuit. But one thing I noticed when I was, you know, working on it, my hand, my finger bridged the contacts. And it, yeah, apparently, Skin has just, has just the right amount of resistance to make the panel think there's the right resistor there. Just thought I'd share that. Okay, so I, uh, I have my panels hooked up together so that they'll see each other's troubles and whatnot. And so if I do this and reset, 
hold reset for a couple of seconds. Oh, yeah, and flip that back up. You can see that this is completely normal. The power light is still dead, so I need to get something for that, but look, I'm just gonna do this. That's right. This has enough, it, this went in trouble as well since my SCI panel is in trouble. So if I come over to here, you can see that zone two is in trouble, which is my 4207. So to start things off, I am going to pull the T-bar here. You can see both zones are in alarm because I pulled zone one and zone two is the panel. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to silence this and reset this pull station. So because this is relay based and that is more calculation based, what you have to do is, you have to reset the FCI panel first. And then you can reset the 4207. And as you can see, this is in trouble here. And so once that goes into trouble, putting this zone two into trouble, I still need to get one resistor, just one resistor short. And all the other resistors I have, this things are short. All right. Grab my keys. And pull this. And you probably saw how this went from trouble to alarm because I have it connected to the alarm relay on that. So, yeah. it was originally set up for this being the alarm relay and this being the code wheel relay. But as you can see, I did some rewiring and now this is complex. So basically the supervision runs through this when the panel is normal or when it's not an alarm. And then it runs through the code wheel and the panel is an alarm. So yeah. That is the two panels linked together. Hand basket signing off.